Hey everyone! In today's tutorial, I am going to do a little bit of vintage watercolor on one of my favorite stamp images. It is an All Night Media Winnie the Pooh stamp. So I have the stamp here, which is a great size and such a wonderful image. I got this on eBay. And I have some vintage photo distress ink, which is just a good dark brown. The Vintage Watercolor Original Tutorial is by Heather Telford, and it is available on Split Coast Stampers. I will link you to that. But what's great about her tutorial is starting with the brown Distress Ink, you really can kind of get a vintage look without really trying too hard with the addition of this Elegant Writer pigment pen. Now this is a very unique pen. We actually use this at my summer retreat for a different watercolor treatment. But what's interesting about this pen is it's a black pen and it's commonly used for calligraphy. But when you add water to it, it is water soluble and it actually separates into several different colors including a beautiful green, a purple and even sort of a brighter pink. So just with these two things, the Distress Ink and the Elegant Writer pen, and a little bit of water, you can get a really beautiful vintage look with a bunch of different colors in it really simply. It's almost like magic. So all I'm doing is adding water with one of my silver brushes, black velvet silver brush just to the lines of the image and the places where I've added the marker. And you can see how it's pulling out a bunch of different colors. It's very sunny today, so I have a couple bright spots on my work surface. But I love the sun, and I can't close my shades when I'm working, so sorry for the little variation in light there. But what's so cool about this technique is you're getting this huge range within your image and a sort of a sepia tone as well as some cooler colors from the marker and all you have to do is add water it's there's nothing you know expertly watercolory about this it's very very simple and a little bit unpredictable which i like it's one of the things that i really like about watercolor so depending on where you've added the Elegant Writer pen, you're going to get different colors and different shadows. I find that it's a little bit darker than the Vintage Photo ink. So you would want to put it in places where you would naturally have shadow or not. As I always say, feel free to ignore any art rules whatsoever. One of my favorite quotes is about first you have to learn all the rules so that you know how to break them. And I definitely live by that in my art. But this is a great way just to get an aged look on what I still consider, even though Pooh Bear is old, I still consider him to be a modern image. And this type of image is great for me just because there's a bigger space to work in. When Heather did the tutorial for us on Split Coast, she had these beautiful little birdhouses and flowers that she masked and layered on top of each other. And the coloring there was just incredible. So you can also use it on really intricate ones. I'm not as skilled at watercolor as she is. And so this big open space, I find more comfortable for me. But you just try it on any stamp image that you have. I really think you'll find that this marker is well worth the investment. They usually come in little multi-packs. That's what I bought everybody for my retreat. So, and they're easily found on various different websites. I will put links in the description below and also in my blog post to where you can find it. But I love the addition of both warm and cool colors that she came up with at the same time with the vintage photo and the pen. And what's cool is, and I didn't use a heat gun this time, to dry it. I should have. You'll actually see me fixing some mistakes a little bit later on. 
But what's cool about this is you can then go on top of it with other watercolor and add some of the more natural colors for this image. So for Pooh Bear, it's going to be a red. I'm using real red, just stamping up dye ink here. And I'm going to add this to his shirt. So you can go back on top of this vintage look and color the image like you normally would if you were watercoloring it without that sort of underpainting of the Distress Ink and the Elegant Writer. But the underpainting is what makes it look vintage, and so I really love it. So I'll just blend out the red. I don't want it as vivid as I might if I weren't doing this vintage look. So I leave it a little bit transparent and pale. But I just want to give you that feeling of Winnie the Pooh, just that iconic red and yellow color scheme. And here I'm fixing where it was wet underneath there and a little bit of the red got sucked into that open area because of that. That would be an instance where you would want to go ahead and dry it with the heat gun before moving on to the next step. But yours truly is not that patient a person, honestly. So there's that. Now for the Pooh Bear part, I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of Crushed Curry ink for that classic golden color of this beloved bear. And I'm going to keep this pretty light as well, just because I want to honor that shading and everything that occurred with the first step. And I just add water if I have a little bit too much or if I have a hard edge. Just go back with your paintbrush and a little bit of water. It's very forgiving. But that's what my little poo looks like when he's all finished. I just love him. I hope you do too. And thank you so much for watching.